end this! Yeah! Silent! The only thing that will end here is your life! Welcome to the realm of legendary Yak Way! Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Listener Yag Wayne back again with some more news for my Patreons. And today I'll be kind of shedding light on this new progress report system. I actually just invested, it's really crazily expensive. It's, I believe it's 70 bucks a month for this system. This is going to allow you to see just what I do, how long it takes me to do per mod, and it will just, I can be a lot more transparent with the beta testers. What the beta testers are, they are uh, Patreons who pledge at least $10 or more. Those are the ones who get to test the mods before I make them publish to the general public. Um, so here I get the freedom to kind of like see what I need to make and what's what's going on. You'll be able to see that as well. Um, for instance, I can look at Gotenks Adult and you can see, okay, the status of the model, texture, moveset, skills, portrait, super souls, matched file, that being the name or anything involving, you know, text letters or whatever, and the voice file. You'll be able to see uh, what priority level these things will be, the time I estimate that I'll finish it, and the time I actually spend on it. This will let you know just how much time I am putting into these projects so you can kind of see the work that I that I really put into these things because it's not easy. Um, it's once again it's really expensive and I can only keep this type of system up with support of you guys. I cannot put this for everyone because it can easily get exploited. Uh, there are different things people can do if it's if just everyone have it. Not to mention I have to personally invite everyone here. I can add my guest here. You see I have someone here I had him tested earlier. But uh, yes, you guys will be able to see my schedule. Uh, if you want to support me, um, it's $10 minimum. So you can kind of allow me to keep this thing up. Uh, for the future, I'm not sure how I'll, I'll be able to do this thing. Obviously, I can't just go sending invites to like a thousand plus people if I have that amount of patrons. So I try to keep it limited to the people who actually test the beta so you can kind of get an inside look of what the future has ahead. Uh, other than that, my day-to-day uh, -day patrons, uh, $1 patrons, you guys will get the progress report, the weekly progress report where you can kind of get a general a general consensus of what's going on. So yeah, you can kind of, I'm going to give you guys a little look of what I have so far, Majub's all finished, Baby Vegeta, for the most part he's finished the model and all that stuff, you can see kind of what's uh, making me slow down a little bit on him, I'm still uh, working on his skills and voice, all these things, these are very high priority, so these are going to need some work, but I'm, I kind of put it to the side a little bit, um, I am, I'm planning to work on a Baby Vegeta Super Saiyan 4, I'm not working on that right now, working on more core players, uh, Gohan GT, I have not worked on him yet, uh, but it, it shouldn't be really difficult to make him um, at this point. Things change. Uh, if you've seen the Gohan Super Saiyan 4, you know that the base form should be significantly more easier. Aside from that, Trunks GT, I do not think I will be making um, Super Saiyan 4 Trunks Trunks GT, like the one from my version. I believe I'll be saving that one for another pack, like say Wrath of Zycor Part 2. Uh, Pan Super Saiyan, it's already complete. Broly Super Saiyan 4 will be the next one that I'll be working on. Vegeta GT is one that's already complete as well. Um, and as for Broly, I'm still not certain. I might want to save that for my Wrath of Zycor Pack 2 as well, because I have a storyline for them. Uh, or rather, rather at least I save it Super Saiyan 5 form, but I bring the Super Saiyan 4 form here. And we have these two secret characters. You can kind of guess with the code names what they might be, but you'll have to wait for the trailer to see what they actually are. But yes, guys, uh, if you get an invite, you'll be able to go to monday.com and you'll make a free account. 
This account will allow you to access the data behind the scenes of modding. And if you're really into all of that and you want to see everything that goes on, um, this will allow you to do that once you get your invite. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of give this video for you guys to you know, kind of shed some light on what's going on. I don't have as much time as I used to have. I, I usually get three days out of the week to work on mods. Those are my three days off from work. So I'm not full time. I don't get to, you know, just study everything about modding and all that stuff, you know. It's still a hobby of mine. It's still something that I really do enjoy uh, seeing the results and products of it. But I have a second life as well. Um, I do try my best. I will try my best. And this pack is going to be my greatest. It's like you guys have no idea. And I want to spend as much time as I can on it. But until then, I will release a little, um, a single character for this month. And uh, you guys will be able to check it out. Uh, so stay tuned for that tomorrow. Uh, with that being said, peace.